Okay, this is Juan Morales, and he's a first-time buyer, and he wants to get out of an apartment, so he has a home of his own and a place for his little boys to play. Exactly, exactly. And so, Juan, what was your experience on looking for a realtor to help you? Oh, my God, I didn't know how stressful, how stressful it was going to be. Um, I was under the impression that there was a lot of people out there that were just going to seek opportunities and say, okay, I'm, I'm here for you. And that wasn't from the get-go. I had actually contacted roughly around five realtors, um, and neither one of them, neither one of them had actually given me a call back, um, even up to this day. Uh, we're, I'm probably in, in about a month's time that I'm already looking for a property. So with that, I got I actually spoke to a friend of mine who actually works for um, – the Bear County, and she actually indicated that, you know what, I had this real nice lady who actually helped me out by the name of Billy Z uh, Zimmerman. I was like, really? And, and I was like, I had already started describing what had happened, and she was like, oh, well, give her a call, and let's, let's see if it's different. So with that, I came into work the next day, and uh, I started just jotting down numbers, and I decided, you know, I'm going to give her a call. It was around 8, 8, 8.50, almost 9 o'clock in the morning, so I presumed to give her a call, and hung up the phone, left my information, and I was like, she's not going to call me back. She's going to be like everybody else. So with that, not even an hour, maybe an hour, 15 minutes later, I get a call from this wonderful lady, and her demeanor was so just inviting. And I pretty much told her she was fabricated. You know, she was just excited. Oh, well, that gives me That was a real compliment because to me, that says a lot about a person who actually follows up with clientele, especially – first-time buyers, especially people seeking opportunity to advance and become better. And with that, you know, a whole transition started. She introduced me to my lender and Linda Murray, which is an, another phenomenal person. You know, we took strides. She told me what I was capable of, of getting with, with some, you know, uh, little fixing of my financial situation. And, and with that, I proceeded to look for house. Well... In doing so, you know, Billy, Linda, and I just decided to go out shopping and see what we can actually get. And in the process, I got shot down financially, you know, due to some infractions that I had pending. Um, kind of deterred me a little bit. Billy always just told me, keep a positive attitude. You, you seem very, very, very optimistic. And I was okay. I still kept trying to keep myself upbeat. And with that... <laughs> They told me you're not approved for eighty thousand. I was, I was, I was beyond belief, overwhelmed, frustrated. I was about ready to give up, and I started talking. I gave a call to Linda and I said, "What are my options?" I go, "What do you think? Give me some advice. I've never purchased a house in my life. I've lived in an apartment for so long that I'm looking to get out." And plain simple, she says, "Look, she because you, you can do one of two things. One, you can quit." and still lose $700 in your apartment that you'll never own, or you can take what we have to offer you and find an opportunity. And that's what I did. With that, it took me two days. Yeah, I was still down, thinking I wasn't going to find nothing. But look, I found this little assortment here, and it's nice. It's cozy. You know, it's adequate for me and my kids, and it's better, better than what I could have ever expected. You know? And without the assistance, and without the assistance of Billy, you know, without her being so uh, just kind and always telling me, you know what, keep going, keep going, keep keeping me motivated, I would have never, ever, ever decided that I would find something like this for the price, you know. That's a beautiful, beautiful account, Juan, and I know that's going to encourage some other people. I, but the rest of the story about the opportunity to, what are you going to do with this in the future? Well, there's, there's plenty of things I can do with it, but my whole thing is I can make money off of it. I can invest it. I can rent it out, fix it, put a little money into it, and rent it out and just live off of it. You know, and, and to me, that's better than what I could have ever expected. You know? Terrific.